Well, that sucked. Losing on New Year's Eve. But then again, it's a hard reminder to all of us that nothing is easy. Everything, you have to persevere. And also be consistent in winning. 2023 is going to be remembered not just the celebration of 30 years of Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks history in this 30th anniversary season. Our Ducks are experiencing right now. But it's going to be remembered for its highs and lows. For its disappointments and its success. We all have our top five moments. We all have honorable mentions of 2023. Most of us can debate and decide what sticks out in regards to the Ducks and how 2023 will look like in the annals of Mighty Ducks and Anaheim Ducks history. But I will give you my personal top five moments for our Anaheim Ducks in 2023. Starting off with number five. The Ducks broke a team record close to 30 years, losing their 47th loss, breaking the record for most losses in a single season. That, as I mentioned on the message board, was an insulting disgrace. Not only seeing the Ducks would lose in such a fashion and breaking the record for most losses in a season, but we never would expect that to happen. We all know the Ducks would have had 46 losses, and that was back when uh, they were new and they were an expansion team, and it was the inaugural year during the founding moments and uh, stepping stones that I've mentioned. In this channel. The previous was 46 losses during the inaugural 1993-94. Breaking that was not just a slap in the face, but it was, an, as I say, an insulting disgrace. Number four, the Ducks signing Ratku Gudis and Alex Killorn, both veterans. The signing of these two players was important for the Ducks' cause to ensure the development of some of the young guns would be enhanced, understand the duties and the responsibilities given to them by the Anaheim Ducks. So far, the results are still ongoing. After a few months of seeing them both play. Number three, the Ducks hiring Craig Cronin as the 11th head coach on, of the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks. Cronin, as you all know, was the bench boss, a head coach in the AHL. Hiring him due to his credentials and his thinking and his methods was thorough and not to mention something that Ducks GM Pat Verbeek was heavily invested in and it showed very well it, it showed during the first few months I know that now from January to April we won't know what that path will take him in, but I'm sure Healy is not too happy with a few things going on with the team in general, especially with the series of losing skids 
in the month of November and December. Number two, the Anaheim Ducks pick Leo Carlson. Now, why I put him above the hire of Craig Cronin at the number two spot is, well, a few things. Number one, we were hoping that the Ducks would land the number one spot. But earning the second spot for the third time in Ducks history was disappointing, annoying, not to mention infuriating, considering that uh, Chicago got the number one pick. But then again... The Ducks getting Leo Carlson is a blessing is in disguise. I mean, he sc scored his first ever hat trick in his rookie year with our Anaheim Ducks. So the positives outweigh the negatives in regards to um, in regards to the little snafu in regards to the NHL draft lottery. And the disagreements in how I feel about the uh, tanking for number one. And don't get me started. I have mentioned various previous videos on, and including Ducks message board on how I feel about tanking. And number one, this one is a controversial one. And I know most of you will be a little surprised. But the Ducks unveiling the 30th anniversary uniform. I just let it sink in for all of you. Now, why I put that at number one ahead of the Ducks picking Leo Carlson, Craig Cronin, hired as the 11th head coach in Mighty Ducks and I'm Ducks history, Ducks signing Radko Gudis, Alex Killorn, and the Ducks losing their 47th uh, loss in a, in a single season, breaking a 30 year old team club record. It's simple. It's uh, it's symbolic. It is symbolic because it's important to celebrate the past. It's important to celebrate the history. But also, this uniform is not just a nostalgia for all Ducks fans, including first-generation Ducks fans who were with this team since day one. It speaks volume to our unique history, our design, even though that many of us, including myself, when I first saw it, would prefer the old Mighty Ducks logo. But right now, this, this you can see here, is growing on me. But also, there's a lot of symbolism in this uniform. On both sleeves and on both uh, colors and, you know, paying homage to the past is very important. So, those are my top, my top five moments in 2023 for our Anaheim Ducks. So, I just want to personally say to all of you, including my 67, uh, 63 subs subscribers, I want to wish you all a happy new year. And hopefully, the Anaheim Ducks will begin a second half search. I want to wish all Anaheim Ducks fans, including the Anaheim Ducks, a happy new year. And may we all hope for the best. And look forward to 2024 to continue to celebrate 30 years and three decades of Mighty Ducks and I'm Ducks Hockey. So, I'll see you all soon.